Hello and welcome back to Chat About for another hotel review. This time it is the Best Western Forest Hills Hotel in Frogsham in Cheshire, uh, where we stayed last night. And uh, I'm going to take you around the room and a little bit of the hotel and tell you what we thought of it. Uh, new for this edition is the Chat About Scoreometer. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> well, that's the plan anyway. So let me just show you around the room and tell you what we thought of it. So here we are outside the um, Best Western Forest Hills in Frogsham. Anyway, let me show you around a little bit. The maintenance team are busy trimming hedges and bushes and stuff. Very good to trim your bush. So this is the car park. It's not very cool to see it at the moment, but there's plenty of it. Plenty of car park about. Swim pool in there. There's a load of sprawling buildings behind this, but this is the main reception area. And, uh, car park. And plenty of air, countryside open space around it, as you can see. Uh, quite, quite impressive. So as you know, when I do these reviews, I do the, uh, the good, bad, the bad and the ugly. And when you come into the room, first thing there is um, nowhere to put the key to turn electric on. It's always on, which is good. Um, immediately on your, hello, immediately on your right hand side is a big double wardrobe with a fan. But I don't see an ironing board or iron. There is a spare pillow. And then you get coffee and making facilities. Small bin. There was plenty of coffee and tea, but we drank that. Um, desk, mirror, TV. There are. There is a uh, standard lamp. Another small table. Either side of the bed, you have a bedside light, telephone, and sockets. There is one electric socket there, which is used by the um, lamp. But I suppose you could unplug that and plug a charger or a phone into it. And there's also a EU type um, socket there. There are some more sockets dotted around, but not many. Um, there's again here, on the side of this bed, a UK socket. There's a spare one this side and an EU socket. A uh, picture on the wall. I've got to say the bed itself was extremely comfortable. So full marks for the bed, it was very, very comfortable, nice and firm. Um, and the sheets and that did seem clean. Then in the bathroom, you have rather dated pink looking um, bathroom furniture, but it's, you know, it's functional and it's okay. A um, couple of cup holders, there were some towels in here. Toilet roll on a roll, pedal bin. A spare toilet roll and tissues, some soaps and stuff, and then the bath and shower, uh, and a heated row, non slip mat, the towels are quite nice towels, nice and clean, and that's about it. So, there are that, there's a lot of good things about it 65 pounds it, it was for the room, um, 85 with breakfast. So it wasn't too bad for the night. A nice, lovely location. Let me show you the view out of the window. Uh, rather than looking at an industrial, well, it is industrial, but rather than looking at a, a brick wall or something horrible, there is a, a view out there looking over the wheel and the um, Runcorn, um, Runcorn uh, chemical plants down there, or refineries. And in the distance, that way, if there wasn't trees in the way, you'd see Blackpool, which is where we're going next. Uh, so there will be a review on a hotel in Blackpool shortly. Let me show you some of the ugly things about the room. Um, first of all, the uh, bath. When you turn it on and off, the whole, the whole thing, this whole thing moves around. Could do a tidying up, just a maintenance issue. Um, the, yeah, as my good lady showing you, the mixer thing just falls off. 
Um, there is a split here in the hold that holds the shower up, which is reasonably clean. Um, there is, I noticed, in the bottom of the loo, some sediment, and it isn't the cleanest uh, on, the, on the rim here. Could do it well, it's chipped away actually. Um, sorted reasonably tidy, chipped tiles and in desperate need in places of regrouting which takes two minutes for the maintenance to do. Um, other little things, the, the lampshade as you can see on the wall is quite badly stained. Um, what else was I noticed last night? If you look at the bedside lamps, the different lamps, and this one, you know, just, just needs the, the tightening ring to tighten it because it's just dumped on top loose. So, and the, the curtains here uh, aren't, uh, the neck curtains aren't the cleanest of things, as you can see. Uh, a few marks on the chairs and things like that. But nothing too bad, yeah. I'm a good lady showing you even the lamp. The lamp shade here isn't, yeah, hasn't got the tightening ring to do it up on the bowl. It's a shame when hotels let themselves down over very minor things that can be so easily rectified um, and choose not to. Now, see, that one's got the tightening ring on it. So, that's the room. Um, would I come back if I could get a deal on it? Probably yes. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a comfortable night, it's warm in the room and all the rest of it. But there, there's plenty of space for stuff, drawers and cupboards and things. But I've got to say, you know, they let themselves down, um, really. Prices for food, there is there's the menus. So, not the worst prices in the world, not the best. There's plenty of guest information and things like that here. Forest Hills, Best Western. And the TV, which we didn't use, so I can't tell you what it's like, but it's a reasonable looking Philips uh, flat screen TV, so it's not a crappy TV. But there you go, there it is. Best Western Forest Hills in Frogsham in Cheshire. Um, what did you think of it overall? I thought it was very nice. The bed was very comfy. Yeah. I'll stay here again.